All right, so today we're going to be talking about syntax in CSS and selectors that have a single colon or a double colon. So what is the difference between a single or a double colon? Single colons refer to pseudo classes, double refer to pseudo elements. So what is the difference between those? A pseudo element is something that you cannot tie directly to an HTML element. So what do I mean by that? This is a paragraph. If I look inside my source here, this paragraph right here, you can see there's one P tag that wraps around the whole thing. So when I'm styling, you know, we can say, okay, the color of the text is going to be, let's say Rebecca purple. Okay, there we go. We've styled this paragraph, the whole thing. And I was able to target that with the tag. So I'm saying this whole thing, a pseudo element is something that is not directly connected to just the tag. So if I said P double colon, first line or first letter, I can set the font size on this to four REM. So I'm going to make the first letter, this L is going to be huge compared to the rest of the text. Now there is no HTML element that is wrapped around this. That is why this is a pseudo element. So double colon pseudo element. It's something that does not exist. There's no specific tag. It's we're targeting something that doesn't really exist. We can say um, after, you know, if you wanted to put something inside of there, we'll say content, hello. And I'm putting that right here at the end after all the other text but still inside the paragraph. I haven't put an HTML element here. The double colon says, okay, we're actually putting some content inside of here. So that is a pseudo element. Pseudo classes, the single colon, those refer more to the state of something. And with an anchor tag, best example of that, we can say for active, I'm gonna make the color, let's make it gold. And then we'll add for hover, we'll do that one. And I will say that the color is gonna be, uh, let's just make it black. There we go. So we've got a hover color and an active color. You can see black, when I hover over these anchors, when I press on it, there's the gold. That's the active state. And hovering over it, that is the hover state. So with, pseudo classes with a single colon we're talking about a state now with form fields with inputs this could be uh, validated or uh, valid or invalid we could have html elements that are empty there's no content inside of them but there's still an html element it's just the condition of that thing so an anchor that has been visited an anchor that is being hovered over or is in the active state a button that is being clicked so it's in the active state um, something that is focused so these links right here that I put in here are actually to the, the, the pages. So we've got pseudo classes and display state pseudo classes, input pseudo classes. So these are the forms, these inputs. We've got all these different states that the elements can be in. Something is happening to those elements. Uh, linguistic location having to do with links. So local link, for example, if you're going from one part of the page to another part of the page, so the URL is the same, it's just you're looking at a different ID, a different target somewhere on the same page, that's a local link. So you can style based on that. So these are all states. They're condition, they're states, information about the specific element. When we're talking pseudo elements, that's the double colon. Now we're saying, all right, I want to target something that's not actually an element. It's a piece of an element. I want to put something inside there. I want to create a space inside of an element with before and after. That's what we're doing. Uh, you can see they've got in, in parentheses here with the single. And that's because when it was first introduced, the only pseudo classes that existed were this before and after, and then the anchor states for visited and hover and active and link. So that's all there was. So they just called them all pseudo classes. Then they figured out, okay, well, before and after are kind of this different thing where we're not talking about the whole element. So that's when they split it and it became pseudo elements and pseudo classes. Elements is two 
classes is one. And that's the difference. So I hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. If you want a copy of the code, it's linked to down in the description. And as always, thanks for watching.